Hey guys, it's Faye and this is Day with Faye. I took a little bit of a hiatus to kind of just be mindful and present in things, but I'm back. And today I am gonna be sharing with you guys my favorite face sunscreen and body sunscreen that's reef safe, cruelty free, all that jazz. Timestamps are gonna be in the description below. If you're looking for a specific piece of information, I got you guys. So before I get into my favorite face and body sunscreen, I really did want to tell you guys the importance of sun protection. Wearing sunscreen has anti-aging properties. To show you how much not wearing sunscreen can age you, this picture. This is a truck driver who basically did not put sunscreen on, had his window up, but because he had been driving a truck for years, obviously had skin exposure to one side of his face, you can see the clear distinction. And not only that, wearing sunscreen can help with any hyperpigmentation that you may have. It'll help it fade faster. And if that's not enough, wearing sunscreen protects you from harmful rays that can lead to skin cancer. So I'm gonna read some stats that are really important. All of these statistics are from the American Academy of Dermatology. The most common cancer in the US is skin cancer. One in five Americans will develop skin cancer in their life. It's approximate that 9,500 people are diagnosed with skin cancer every day in the US. Melanoma rates in the United States doubled from 1982 to 2011 and have continued to increase. Now, I think that's personally because the whole like, oh, let's be super tan, let's lay out on tanning beds, let's lay out in the sun, like that trend is very popular. But honestly, I think love the skin that you're in, love the skin that you're born with. But if you have to, if you feel like you need to be tanned or anything like that, you can spray tan. And I know we have this awful assumption that spray tan equals an orange mess, but all the biggest celebrities do that. The Kardashians, all of them do spray tans. Olivia Munn, they do spray tans and they look very natural. So. Definitely go that route. If you can't invest in that, I think your health is more important than that then. And now another thing is that skin cancer can affect anyone regardless of their skin colors. I know that there's an assumption that if you have dark skin that you're just not gonna get skin cancer, but that is not the case. Skin cancer in patients with skin of color is often diagnosed in its later stages when it's more difficult to treat. And research has shown that patients with skin of color are less likely than Caucasian patients to survive melanoma. Now, I don't know if that's because of skin color, but it's probably because it is found when it's at its later stages. And when it's at its later stages, it's harder to treat and have success from removing it. There are two more stats I wanna share with you guys. Melanoma is the second most common form of cancer in females ages 15 to 29. Research indicates that the incidence of melanoma in women 18 to 39 increased 800% from 1970 to 2009, which is insane. So all of that said, wearing sunscreen is extremely important. But now another thing I wanna to touch on is reef safe sunscreen. Now, why do we care about reef safe sunscreen? What's the deal? So basically one of the two most common ingredients found in a lot of sunscreens out there that is damaging to the coral reef ecosystem is oxybenzone and octinoxate. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> These ingredients have been linked to coral bleaching. Basically, long story short, when coral reefs absorb these chemicals, they have a similar reaction as if the water was way too warm for them. Also, the presence of these chemicals in the water allow for viruses to thrive, which puts a high risk of catching an infection that could lead to bleaching and death of the coral reef ecosystem. So things to look for when you're shopping for a reef safe sunscreen are that they don't have oxybenzone and octinoxate, that they're a mineral-based sunscreen with ingredients like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, and that they have ingredients that say that they're non-nano. So people can say, hey, this is reef safe, but this is how you know for sure. It is our responsibility to protect the environment as much as we can. So I definitely wanted to inform you guys because you might not even know that. If you're gonna go to any beach or any waterways that it's open, it's best to stick with a reef safe sunscreen. All right, so now I'm gonna talk to you guys about my favorite face sunscreen. I literally use this every day. I've been using this for about two months now and it's hands down my favorite sunscreen and that's the Super Goop Zinc Screen. Mm -hmm. 
one of my main concerns when I put face sunscreen on when it's like an everyday face sunscreen is that it's gonna make my makeup be weird or apply weirdly but that is not the case it's also tinted which at first I was like I don't know how I feel about this but I kind of like it because then when you go to the beach or anything like that you kind of you look good this is cruelty free, which I love. It checks off all the boxes for what you need to look for when you're looking for a reef safe sunscreen. Honestly, the best. This is SPF 40. Now typically, from what I've read, they'll tell you to find SPF at least 30 every day to wear. I'm a little extra and I do 40 for my face. I don't know, I've just noticed that when I started using sunscreen in my face routine every day, that my hyperpigmentation faded faster and my face wasn't as red, obviously. I know how hard it is to find a face sunscreen that you use every single day, that applies well under your makeup, that is cruelty free and is also reef safe. It's so hard to find, <laughs> but I finally found it and it's definitely this. This is my holy grail. I, it's gonna be really hard for me to find a sunscreen that tops this, in my opinion. I basically apply a little bit less than a quarter size on my face and I do this every single day. Obviously, if I'm outside, I'm applying the sunscreen more every 30 minutes to an hour. I also wear my hat and my sunshades. Like, I do not wanna get skin cancer, that's all I'm saying. I have sensitive skin too, and this definitely works for me, but everyone's skin is different, so definitely make sure to patch test, see how it works and slowly introduce it into your routine and make sure that you don't have any reactions to it. I love this, I've had this for two months. I still have some, so it lasts a long time. Okay, now for body sunscreen, I use this and it's from Australian Gold. Now, how I found this is I was in Walgreens one day at Key West I was gonna go snorkeling. Obviously I need to have reef safe sunscreen. So I was hunting down throughout all the aisles, which I've heard that Key West is gonna completely ban non reef safe sunscreen, um, which is great, but that's not into effect until 2021, if I remember correctly. So going in there, I was like, wait, I only see like two options in here, which is insane. But anyways, this is SPF 50. They have less than this. I like to keep it around 40 and up. I didn't see 40 there at that store, but I did use this the whole entire weekend that I was there. It checks off the boxes. It's mineral based. It is nano free. It's also no animal testing, which is super important to me. It doesn't have oxybenzone. Like we're good. I wanted to apply it because I don't have B-roll footage of me using the sunscreen, but when I apply it, it smells really, really good, but it's just a hint of it. It doesn't really smell like sunscreen to me, which was something that really caught my eye. Because most body sunscreen you put it on, you're like, this smells like I am at a community pool with a bunch of kids at summer camp. That's not what this smell is. This is just like sandy in a way, like you're at the beach but it doesn't smell bad. It smells good. I actually really like the smell. So that's how it looks and now I'm going to apply it. It feels extremely creamy and it rubs into my skin really well. Look, now it's gone. You know some of those sunscreens that you get and it's just like, wow, I still have a white cast. No white cast. And it smells really good and it doesn't feel in my opinion, it doesn't feel greasy like a lot of other sunscreens. Now, is it gonna feel like the Super Goop one? No, not exactly. But I'm not gonna spend a Super Goop amount for my body sunscreen because it's a lot of sunscreen. This, in my opinion, is the best body sunscreen that I've ever put on my body. So I love it, I highly recommend it. So those are my two favorite sunscreens for my face and for my body. I hope you guys really do Check it out, sunscreen, wearing sunscreen is important, but we don't need to damage the environment while protecting our skin. If you found this video informational, please give it a like, I truly appreciate it. And if you haven't already, I would love for you guys to subscribe. All you have to do is click my face here. And you can watch some of my skincare videos that are also very informative. So I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.